Check this out, my friends. This here is chicharrones. It's pork belly. We're getting ready to cook it up and do it right. Check it out. First things you want to do is we're going to salt this bad boy. I don't know what these little things are. Get you some sea salt and we're going to heavily coat this bad boy. Get every little piece of this pork skin covered in salt. Now I get you one of these little things. And we're going to penetrate that salt down into the skin. I just realized that these sharp blades will not even puncture the skin. Look at that. We'll do this. Get you a couple of these and just penetrate tiny little holes into your pork belly skin. Now we got this nice and penetrated and salted. We're gonna throw it in the fridge for an hour. Now check out what we do next. Next step, you're gonna need some Wahilo chilies. We're gonna add them right into our boiling water and a handful of Arbol chilies. These are for heat. Now that we got them boiling, we're just going to reduce to a simmer and let them sit for about 20 minutes. All right, on to the next step. All right, so now we're going to get the pulp out of these peppers. So you can simply split it open, rinse it in some water, and the seeds will come right off. Take the back of your knife and simply scrape the pulp right away from the pepper, just like that. You can see that this is all the chili pulp that we got, and we're going to use the whole peppers of these arbols. Look at them, they got the little seeds in there. They're super spicy. Grab it up and throw it in. We're gonna need the juice of two giant limes. Seriously, y'all, that is a giant lime. Oh, gosh. The most important ingredient you're gonna to use today is Dano Chipotle. Put a bunch of that in there. Now we add six or seven cloves of garlic, a couple green onions, a small little grab of cilantro. Now we add one beer of your choice. Fasten your seatbelt, and now we blend. Should be a nice runny consistency, just like that. Now let's give it a try. Oh wow. All right, now it's time to cook. Look at this puddle right here. This has literally only been like one hour, y'all. It made a total mess in my refrigerator. I have to clean that up later. So note to self, the salt brings all the moisture out. So make sure you got something underneath to where it can't drip everywhere because I got a dirty fridge. Soak that up and we're gonna scrape all the salt off. The salt's done its job, so now we get rid of it. I got a better idea. Simply just rinse the salt off. All right, now take your pork belly, lay it skin side down, make sure it's all flattened out. Now you want a really sharp knife and we're simply gonna make some slits into our pork belly but make sure, most importantly, that you do not go through to the skin side. Just like that. You can see there's actual skin and then you got the pork belly. Move over about two inches and do it again. Now we got our two inch scores going that way. Let's go the other way. Cut right through down to the skin, but not penetrating through the skin. All right, so we got our blanket all scored up. It's time to take it outside, throw it on the smoker, and I'm gonna take our sauce and sauce it outside so it don't make a huge mess inside. Time to sauce it up. Get your hands and move that sauce around. Massage it into all these little nooks and crannies. All right, our work here is done. Now we just let the smoker do its work. We're about an hour in. I'm gonna get rid of this juice in the middle. So it's been an hour and 45 minutes. We're at 350 degrees. We're gonna tip right there. We're at 165. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Here, I'm actually gonna rotate this. This might be the hotter side. Let it keep on cooking. All right, y'all, it's been two hours, 45 minutes at 350. Look at this thing. We're gonna flip this over. You can see it's already pretty crispy, but there's some spots that aren't. We're cranking it up to 500 and we're gonna get it crispy. So it's been about 30 minutes at 500 degrees. We're crispy, we're taking it inside. Let's look at the underbelly. Whoa, it charred up a bit. I already know y'all are gonna burn me up in the comments because I burnt this up, but you never know. It might still be amazing. So let's get in here and get us a try. Oh, doesn't look bad at all. Look at that y'all. We're gonna give it a little squeeze of lime. All right, look at that. Let's get a bite. Here we go. Y'all can burn me up all you want in the comments that I burnt it. That's amazing. Wow. Yum, yum, get you some. 